Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of 5 Bookish Facts. Today, we're going to be doing 5 facts about John Steinbeck. Yes, this is my old edition of, of, of Mice and Men, which I only read recently. And I only read this recently as well, which is his uh, Penguin Mini Modern. Which is why I wanted to do 5 facts on him, because he's rapidly becoming one of my favourite sort of classical authors. Or modern classical authors, whatever you want to call it. Nobody requested this episode, I just wanted to do it. But if you do have requests for a future episode, please let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get to the facts! So, fact number one is that the dog ate his homework. So, an early draft of, of Mice and Men was eaten by Steinbeck's dog. His dog was called Max. It was one of several dogs that he owned at the time. He basically became the novel's first critic. I guess he didn't like it very much. The book itself actually draws from Steinbeck's own experiences as what is called a bindle stiff, which is like a migratory worker in the US in the 20s. The title of this book comes from a Robert Burns poem called to a mouse and the, it goes the best laid schemes of mice and men gang after glay which I believe I said in my review as well it means go off to rye but gang after glay sounds better and the original draft title of this book was something that happened fact number two this is about the grapes of wrath so in the 1980s, a rumour went around that the, the Grapes of Wrath had been incorrectly translated into Japanese as the Angry Raisins. The rumour was, however, false, but it is a great example of the good old lost in translation, you know, story slash meme that we like to talk about. He actually won the Pulitzer Prize in 1940 for The Grapes of Wrath as well. It was super popular, it was selling 10,000 copies a week at its peak. That rhymed. So let's move on to fact number three, which is about East of Eden. And for East of Eden, Steinbeck used to write with pencils. He preferred to use a pencil to a typewriter. And he used 300 pencils to write East of Eden. He was known to use up to 60 pencils in a day. Fun related fact as well about Hemingway is that Hemingway also used to use pencils. And he used to sharpen his pencils while he was thinking. Maybe that's what Steinbeck did. And that's how he got through 60 pencils in a day. Because otherwise, I don't know how he would do that. Fact number four is that he wasn't very popular in his hometown of Salinas, and in fact, uh, they, they hated him at times. So he wrote to a friend in 1933 saying, I think I would like to write the story of this whole valley, of all the little towns and all the farms and ranches in the wider hills. But obviously the town was much less enthusiastic. They actually burned copies of the Grapes of Wrath in 1939. He actually, as well, Steinbeck refused to allow a local school to be named after him because he thought that it would give people in the town another excuse to complain about him. Of course, nowadays, they've kind of got over that because he's seen as a, you know, a classical author. And uh, now his childhood home, it's a restaurant and tourist attraction. And the Salinas National Steinbeck Centre has a three-day Steinbeck festival that's been running for over 36 years. So if you're in the area, check it out. And finally, fact number five, Steinbeck's kind of known for writing about the Depression era and for writing these kind of raw, realistic characters that show the more downtrodden aspects of human life. But what many people don't realise is that he also wrote a book about King Arthur. Mm. This was written late in his career and like T.H. White and also Tennyson, who both wrote books on uh, King Arthur, he drew on Sir Thomas Mallory's 15th century epic, L'Amour de Arthur. Very good French accent there, which means the death of Arthur, I suppose. And he used that as his source material. So Steinbeck's take on it was called The Acts of King Arthur and His Noble Knights. He started writing it in 1956. It was unfinished as of his death in 1968 and wasn't actually published until 1976. But it's out there if you want to read it. So there we have it, there are five facts about John Steinbeck. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have any requests for future episodes. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye